Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Escape with Sarah and Ben. Today we're at Boolaroo. Uh, it's a bit uh, east of like Port Perry and stuff, and uh, they have their steam and traction fair thing today. So uh, yeah, we got in the gate. It was fifteen bucks each, so we're hoping it's pretty good. Yeah, and I uh, just spent thirty dollars to go look at tractors, but anyway. <laughs> But yeah, I, I guess we're committed. Let's <laughs> yeah. go find out what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah, so there's some old tractors around, eh? And uh, it smells very wood fire around here. So uh, hopefully we get to see a good wood fire too. We'll start off with the old cars, I think. Oh man, wow. Look at this. The LC Tirana, I think. And um, she looks like she's still got some Origi paint underneath this so she's been resprayed maybe once wow and like oh man she's in really good condition eh wow and the cracks in the paint and things there <laughs> oh wow when do you ever see one of these like this wow oh he's got me pillow too eh <laughs> oh man, that's sick. I'd love one of these for me Datsun, eh? And a drop tank. No, he doesn't have a drop tank, but that's more like an SLR 5000 thing anyway. Oh man. What a beast. Oh yeah, beautiful. Oh, the interior is so nice as well. Yeah, well. What a car. Aren't she's been everywhere too, the Grinch. Man. Yeah, Trans Am, Firebird. Whoa, she's a beast too. Still American. Drive, drive from the wrong side of the car. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow, check out that, eh? They spent several days looking for them. Very nice. Oh, the dash in there is beautiful too. It's all push button automatic. S Series Chrysler Valiant. Yeah, these are nice. The models before them had like the well for the spare tire in the boot. And uh, they're really, really nice as well. Man, I'd love a Valiant. Oh, I want a Safari wagon though. Wow. Oh man, she's like mint in there too, eh? Wow. Whoa, ho, ho, check out this crown. Man. Oh, and the paint, the paint looks like it's probably original, like it's not perfect. Wow, all oh, the cars man, the cars in South Australia, you got to get your one. Oh, no way, it is so, so good. What a car. Man, where's all the Datsuns? A few nice X-Series Fords around as well, eh, there's this one. Tinted windows. This is what like everyone's mum and dad had in the nineties. And now uh, there's a really nice black one over there too. Whoa. Oh man, the lady with that Chrysler was really nice. We spoke to her for like about twenty minutes, I reckon. And uh, there's some really sick cars here, but there's a couple of standout ones. There's the two Morrises, which could be half Datsuns, and there's this big Cadillac. So let's have a look at them. Old oh, Rupert, eh? He's a 59 Morris Minor, and uh... Is it Rupert, is it like the owner's name, or is it... I don't know, it could be the car's name. Jeez, look how nice that is, man. Wow. Oh, I've so near bought a couple of these, but I stuck with me Datsuns instead. But if I could find the right one with the right Datsun motor in it, I'd have one of these. Oh, he's got some cool pinstriping too, eh? Yeah, this thing's really cool. Wow. 
Wow, this thing is a monster. You could lay down across that. And the fins, man, the fins. You can't beat the fins. Oh man, just add some lube and then it'll be perfect. Oh no, no. Make it a make it a two door and it'd be perfect. She's uh she's just got an extra door. But oh, look at how big the seats are. Oh wow. What a car this one is. Man, and the, the pillarless window, hey, like how awesome is it? Oh yeah, it's a pity about the extra door. Well, uh, it's a long way to walk around it. Oh, what a beast. Oh, this one's got a big alloy radiator, man. There's a chance this Morris. Uh, nah, that's definitely a Morris engine. No fun, where's all the Datsuns? Well, I don't know enough about my old Fords, but it's got to be a T model or an A model. Oh look, it's like they stole our blankets. Wow. Oh, not much to it. There's like no dash. Yeah, well. Oh man, this thing is really cool. Oh man, we got stuck talking to another old lady for like half an hour at that time. But uh, everybody's so nice, like you can't just go like, oh yeah, and blow them off. But uh, yeah, look, we're going to have a look at some of the tractors now. Um, I don't really know where to start with tractors. The old John Deere green thing up the end there, that's a really, really cool one. I already read the sign, said it was used in one of the grape farms or wineries or something. And it's got like the big tiller thing that it pulls behind it with it. So yeah, that thing's a beast. It's so nice too. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a quick run through the tractors. Uh, I hope I don't skip over anything you wanted to see. Oh man, she's a beast. That's a beast. Oh man, that's a beast. And the, this field marshal, it's a beast. And that, oh wow, some trikes. Oh man. There's so, so many here, right? They're gonna do a tractor parade later, so we might get a better look at them when we do that. How cool are these things, though? Wow. Oh, man. Love me three-wheelers, eh? Yeah, wow, so many cool old tractors. Oh, wow, that, that one there looks really old and beasty. Wow. Oh, man, the old ute. Oh, that's sick. Oh, wow. Oh, so there's more than tractors hiding in here too, eh? There's this thing up the back here too, whatever this big old ute is. We're gonna have a look at that. Oh, yeah, wow, this thing is a beast. Wow. Look at the wheels on this. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, huge big four-cylinder diesel. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's a beast. There's so much going on in here. The engine runs into here, and then that goes into this big drop box with a big cog in there, and then that runs, the, it's four, it's four-wheel drive. Wow. I didn't even notice that. And you can see that's like the uni joint there where it's like spline with them, like, wow. That's, <laughs> wow, wow, man, this thing's a monster, what a beast. Bunch of traction engines along the back fancy. Oh, here's a big Chamberlain, type 40k. These are all Australian made. I've actually met a guy near Jinjin who had a shed full of these and like all different ones. He had early ones and late ones and like heaps and heaps. He was full collecting them. But uh, yeah, that's uh, really cool. I bet we don't make much stuff like that in Australia anymore. Wow. Uh, so I think this one's steam driven by the look of it. It's got a big uh, steam engine in there. And uh, look at this, there your gauges up here. And uh, this is where you sit and you drive it with this thing. Check out the belt on it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a chain, but it's, uh, wow. It's made out of leather and stuff. Wow. 
Oh man, this thing looks like fun to drive too. Wow. Oh. Wow, this thing's cool. It says it was built by J.H. Horwood, 1913. Powered by 1910 new way, eight horsepower air-cooled engine. Wow. Wow, so I was built in Adelaide, this thing. Oh man. It's uh, really, really cool. So it can drive itself, or it can drive like your machines to shear your sheep or chaff your wood or whatever they do. Wow. Yeah, wow, so the tractors have been pretty cool. I just got stuck talking to another bloke for about half an hour. I'm like, oh man, there's this big, big, big steam thing running up the back here. I want to go see that. It was going flat out a minute ago and I couldn't get away from it. Oh wow, so I'm not sure what's going on. But you can see that thing over there. The tractors are like pulling that with that big pulley at the bottom of it. And uh, there's two of them working together to do it. Oh man, this thing was going off before, eh? Right? I'm spewing, we missed it. I hope he revs it back up again. Alright, so they've just chucked this thing in reverse now. They're going to pull that thing back and see him scooping up the dirt now. Oh wow. Oh, so this is like how they used to make roads and railway tracks and things. Oh wow, there it go. Go, baby. Oh wow, oh man, it doesn't stuff around. Look at the dirt it's moving. Wow. Wow. So he's got a full bucket now. Oh man, beastly little Suzuki here, eh? Right? This might be the coolest thing here. <laughs> oh wow, he's really original, that beast. Wow, John Fowler and Co. Eight horsepowers, 1909. You know, like a little Honda motorbike, like a really little one, like a posty bike? That makes about eight horsepower. And uh, this is what it took back then to make eight horsepower. A beast. Oh man, it'd be like eight horsepower, but like thousands of torque. So this is the excavator thing. You can see like the road he's been digging behind him and he's got all the dirt up in there now. So they'll bring it up here and then they're gonna dump the dirt off somewhere, I think. I'm not sure, he's stopping now. But yeah, wow. I've never seen one like, it's like a big drag line bucket excavator. Wow. Now he's signaling to the other track, the other engine. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, I bet that gets scary up there. There we go. Now he's digging again. Off he goes. Wow, man, old stuff's so cool. It's a bit of a worry that we're the youngest people here though. Uh, there's just, there isn't any younger people live around here is one of the problems. And uh, the, other re the other is all the younger people aren't really interested in this stuff. So it's probably gonna rust away to nothing eventually if they don't find some young people to look after it. Umbrah, in the shed now, and it's uh, all full of traction engines. And uh, I can see car, what's the cars doing? No, that's just like a BA Ford. That's not great. Yeah, can't see anything really exciting in here, but we'll have a quick look around. Oh, here's something I like. It's a Model T Ford one ton truck. So I wonder what they did to make the thing take a ton. Mmm, <laughs> beef up the leaf springs a little bit by the look of it. And just the rear end. Yeah, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, got some little markets in the middle here, heaps of books and stuff. And, oh man, these are cool, they're the off-road ones from the 80s. 
and uh, oh, there's heaps. And our old mate over there, he had some Volkswagen workshop manuals. They were like 54 to 55, and then he had the the tra 58 Transporter and Combi. Like, man, yeah, anything like pre-60s Volkswagen stuff's like really old, eh? So, um, yeah, I know people who love that stuff. Oh, man, check out this budget tin. This is from a, like, different era. Look, here's where you can keep your house payments and your rates. You can certainly imagine trying to fill that up with enough coins to pay your house payments or your rates. <laughs> you I love that milk, milk's the same category too. Like. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I thought it would have had a divider in there, but it doesn't. It's but just um, a show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Man, check out this Nissan Spanner. Like, how old is this? I don't know if you can see it even. Your camera won't focus. There we go. Look. When, when did Nissan ever make Imperial tools or use Imperial stuff? Wow. Oh wow, so that was pretty cool too. Once again, we get stuck talking to everyone. You can't <laughs> avoid people around here. They'll just talk to you Everyone's forever. So and uh, yeah, look at what I got, man. Five bucks. Got this mad herring blues uh, harmonica and it's just... <laughs> It's like a hundred yeah. times better than my old one. It oh, sounds yeah. like instantly better. Oh man, I, I bet this is an expensive harmonica. Five bucks, what a bargain. Oh man, the next shed's got so much stuff in it too. Look at this steam powered ute. Wow, oh you can see inside the bit here. Oh yeah, that's the firebox. And this is the fire tubes. And the water goes inside that bit, not in these holes. That's just where the heat comes through. And uh, yeah, I've explained how steam engines work before, so uh, go have a look at some other videos. And um, oh, windmills, we'll have a quick look over there. Here's some old like grain harvest and things and crush and stuff. And oh man, this thing here is really cool too. Steam engines up the back. Man, this place is like so good. We were worried we'd like wasted our 15 bucks, but even just the people we talked to have been worth it. Oh yeah, the windmills are really cool, eh? Look at the heads and things on it too, eh? Oh wow. Yeah, I never got a real good up close look at any of them, eh? Wow, what a beast. Oh, and the, wow, the one up the back there, that's really cool. And, uh, oh, this thing is pretty big. Wow, this one's got a cool design, eh? Wow, look at that. Says says restored from parts found in two areas miles apart. Yeah, well. Wow. So what? I, there was either one of these that's parts all got s spread around, or there was two of them that they built this one from. So wow. Oh man, the wind the windmills are really cool. Hmm. I oh, man over here is making pots or kettles or whatever these things are. Yeah, well. Oh man, we missed it. But old mate just had this thing running and man, it's mean. They're three cylinder roots diesel engines. You can see it's got the big roots blower on it. And uh, this is a colorway one. You can see all the insides going down there. Oh wow, yeah, oh you should have heard it though, wow, oh man, this is the motor you want. Oh man, that might be one of the coolest engines I've ever seen, eh? The big Roots diesel. Go baby, run! This one here, see they got this big thing here, that's all to run this little water pump, to pump water. Oh, he's got to go on, you can hear it now. Oh man, the little engines are always really cool. See heaps and heaps of them in Bundaberg, they have the Tractor Preservation Society, and same sort of stuff, it's mad.
running that diesel thing. Oh, wait till he revs it up a bit. Told you that thing was sick. Oh, here he goes again. Oh man, I want this. <laughs> oh man. Oh, imagine if you really give it to it, how hard it'd go then. Wow. Oh yeah, that, that's the sickest thing here, man. Them big tractor things and that, they got nothing on that thing. Wow. Wow. Wow, ah, so this is all like hay baling and grain baling and things and check this out. He's got his pitchfork and he hooks it in there and then the machine does its thing and then it spits out um hails at the back. Hails, no. Bales of hay at the back. What did you say? Hales of bay. Hales. <laughs> yeah. Piece yeah, piece well. <laughs> so that's how they used to do hay, eh? If you see how they do it these days and they chuck out their massive big rolls in like no time, eh? As quick as you can drive over it. So, uh, yeah. Wouldn't want to be the old farmer who was stuck doing that back in the day. No fun. <laughs> Uh, so we haven't seen what's in these two sheds up the back yet and I don't know if you can tell but behind them tractors there's a big group of old people crowded around and like if you want to see the cool stuff you got to follow them because that's where they're going around starting the engines and things and it's like the old people just have a sixth sense for this stuff they know they're like yeah you must yeah, be yeah. starting that engine soon or get over there oh look at the tractor here starting Ooh. mad all right let's go and see what the old people are looking at Oh, wow. You can see in this bit here, that's where the flames are. And then the boiler's over there somewhere. And that's all running this. And that. And that. And that thing up there. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. So this thing here, it's all riveted together. There's no welds on it or nothing. And, uh, yeah, our mate's just telling me a bit about it. He's saying it's all reinforced inside so it doesn't implode when it cools down as well. And like, yeah, wow. So this is just the, the firebox and then the boiler up through the middle of it. And then that drives steam into all these pipes up the top here, which drive all the machines running on steam. So wow. That's like the biggest kettle that you'll ever see. Wow, this thing here is a big Benz diesel. It stands like almost six foot tall. And uh, wow, that is a big four cylinder. And then there's this thing here. Oh, wow. Yeah, so these are made to generate power to run things. Beast. Oh, mate, how are you? Starts it with the fire. It's got to heat it up. Yeah, got to heat up the hot water. It's a lot easier than using the old kerosene blow lamp, which is what it would normally have started with. Yeah, yeah, wow. What a beast. You need a couple of minutes to get hot. Oh, so that's the first crank. It's just fired. Oh, yeah. Here we go, he's off. Oh man, that's a big, big motor. 125 horsepower, that one. Nah, heaps like horsepower than a modern car, but um, tons more torque. 
Like imagine not driving a car. It's like an eight foot wheel. If you tried to spin that big wheel up like this 125 horsepower car engine, it'd never get there. It takes forever to get it spinning like that. Ah, it's a beast. Ah, so if you can hear me over old mate and the tractors, they're doing like the big tractor drive now, so we get to watch them all drive past. It's gonna be mad. Here's the first one. Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Everything we've seen today, well, just about everything we've seen today, still works and runs and drives and everything. So, like, it's mad that people take the time to look after it that much. And uh, I guess that's where our $30 went to, like, help them keep all their stuff running. It's pretty cool. I can't show you like all the tractors running or we'd be here for hours, but yeah, I'll try and pick a couple more. Oh, Bob, remember when I used to have a tractor like that one? Oh, yeah, Bill, I'm there sneaking out the back in him. Oh man, this one's the ancient one we looked at earlier. Oh, he's slow. Wow. Oh man, love me an old tractor, eh? Oh man, he got some speed up. That thing started moving. Wow, so here we are from the other side of the field looking. And, uh, oh, look at this old thing coming, eh? Wow. Oh, imagine being stuck by that on the highway. It's this thing. It's the three wheeler we saw at the start. Wow. Oh man, and look what that thing does to the grass. Wow, it tears it up. Must weigh heaps. Heaps and heaps. Oh wow, look at this. It's like a two tractor tractor. Oh, I've never seen one like that. Oh, this is one of the favourite ones I looked at, and he's got like the the drag behind thing for the farming. It's mad. Oh man, so that's been a mad day out. The locals and the old people here all love it, eh? And uh, yeah, I've had a mad time looking at all the tractors and the machines, or oh, that engine, that big diesel this engine is here. awesome. Is and uh, yeah, there? that's gonna be it. Um, We're gonna go back now and find a wombat and uh, go have lunch and stuff, and we will see you tomorrow. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, look at this big truck pulling a train. Wow, I've never seen a train on a truck before. That's cool as beast. <laughs>